I'm Hazel, and this is your guide to the Dragonflight pre-patch event. We'll look at what there is to get, and exactly how you can get it. The event is up on Live Realms this week, and will run until Dragonflight launches, after which it will go away forever. While the event is up, you can get item level 252 catch-up gear. It comes pretty easily, and it's better than Xerath Mortis Anima gear for alts or returning players. Anybody who played this patch, though, probably doesn't need it for the item level. They may still want it, however, because that catch-up gear also offers a new transmog set. There's one batch of appearances per armor type. We also have catch-up weapons that give mog as well. All of these appearances are a recolor of quest items that you'll get in Dragonflight, so it's not your only chance at these models, but the color does seem to be exclusive to the event. If you're a transmog completionist, you'll want to get these things now. This feels like a good point to explain how you do the event. There are invasions in the Badlands, Northern Barrens, and Grove Crater in Tearsfall Glades. They're timed, but they seem to respawn pretty shortly after they end, so they're more or less mostly up. The invasions will buff mobs within these little areas. The buffed mobs drop these BOA Primeval Essence items, and roughly every half hour an invasion world boss will spawn at a specific one of these stones. When the boss is up in your zone, it'll show on the map with a skull like this. Before you head off, do the quick quest line in Stormwind or Orgrimmar to get your invasion quest, which will give you bonus primevals. After the first time, it is a daily, so you can do it twice per character on that first day, and then repeat daily after that. To get the gear, you can farm those primevals from the quest, the buffed mobs will drop them, and then the bosses drop them, and then you can go and spend them at the vendor, which you met during the intro quest line. You can also get gear to drop directly from the bosses, although so far I have only seen weapons and jewelry drop that way. So when you're shopping at the vendor, maybe buy weapons and jewelry last. I started off by buying a staff before I knew that, and then the same one immediately dropped for me off a boss, which is what you don't want to have happen, so learn from my mistakes, buy those last. The primeval items themselves are BOA, so if you want, you can rack them up pretty quick by doing that intro quest and then the daily on your alts, and then mailing them around as needed. You get lots of primevals from everything though, so you probably don't need to game that hard. The vendor also has a toy called the Bag of Furious Winds. It has a 30 minute cooldown, and on use gives you a big vacuum that brutally sucks up critters. It's the kind of thing you might use if you were leveling with a friend and they said, ooh, what a cute critter, and then you're like a monster. There is also a primal stormling pet from the event, which looks like this. It is roughly gnome sized. You can get one of these per character for doing the event intro quest, and they are cageable. That means that you could do that intro quest on all of your alts and bank up extra stormlings to sell, perhaps later on when they're no longer obtainable. I imagine the price won't be crazy high to begin with, but there's nowhere for it to go but up. Finally, on top of the catch-up gear, transmog pet, and toy, there is an exclusive heirloom trinket only available to get during this event. Meet the unstable elemental confluence. To get this, you need to get a dimmed primeval from each of the four boss types and combine them. Those, the dimmed primevals, are not a guaranteed drop, so farming this thing might actually take a while. Unlike the rest of the stuff, that's all easy. The dimmed primevals are also BOA, so it does not matter which character it drops for, you can mail them around. So the loot rules for the bosses, I would love to know, they're not totally clear yet. Um, I have seen reports that the primevals can drop even if you have killed a boss more than once in a day, so feel free to keep farming. Personally, I killed the same boss a whole bunch of times on the first day. I was getting gear drops from multiple kills when I was not in a raid group, and then I started joining raid groups in the group finder for quick boss kills and was getting primevals but no gear, and I did not see an essence from any of that, but I did get an earth one for my first kill of the earth boss. If I had to guess, I would imagine that you can spam farm the boss, but that joining a raid group does something, but that really is guessing, it's really unclear at this point. If you wanted to grind this out and be really safe, I would try to kill each elemental boss that you still need a primeval for once per day per character, because that at least is safe. The event vendor also has a reagent bag that they will sell you for a measly five regular primevals. It is only 20 slot, and you will get a better one pretty early in Dragonflight, but Dragonflight's not here yet, and it is so cheap that you may as well just. You've got an extra bag slot for it that you will now see down in your bag bar. Something that you might be wondering around now is, does this event work for alt leveling? The answer is, yeah, kind of. 
It's no Legion pre-patch event, but you can do all of this as low as level 10, although it would go faster if you could fly. The quests and bosses will give some experience, but nothing insane, and gear that drops down will be a downscaled version. You can do the event in chromie time, but you will be phased to your chromie time, so if you want to farm the event on a low level alt, I would recommend leaving chromie time first so that you don't have to solo the invasion all by yourself. I mean, it still might be faster than doing them in a gigantic massive shard with a bunch of people tagging the mobs because sometimes those can take a really long time, but it'll still probably be faster to do it in a group. And that sums up the pre-patch event. You do a few quests, farm the invasions, buy your things, and then grind out your heirloom trinket if you want it. It'll be over before you know it. So if you're mad, then it'll be okay. And if you're happy, it'll also be okay. Dragonflight's right around the corner. Thanks for watching. Good luck out there and have a wonderful, wonderful day.